What is really is staggering in uh, the numbers that are coming out, both uh, from the United States and from Italy, uh, which are pretty much uh, neck and neck on the number of deaths, is actually the speed at which uh, the U.S. is recording uh, those deaths. If you look at uh, the numbers in the past week, basically the daily number of new uh, deaths recorded in the United States is about three times uh, the number in uh, Italy. So for the past week, that's about 3,000 uh, deaths in Italy. 9,000 in the United States. So you see that the United States is cashing up and is going to pass very quickly. Uh, and uh, the reason for that is that, of course, uh, everyone is focused right now on uh, New York, especially New York City, because that's where you have uh, the biggest uh, number of deaths, of cases, and uh, that's where the rates are the highest. That is uh, the hot uh, spot right now in the United States. But the problem is that they're going to be multiple hotspots to come. Uh, even though New York seems to be stabilizing, there are going to be uh, bigger numbers coming out uh, from other uh, big cities. Uh, they're uh, thinking that the peak is not going to be reached in California for another week. Chicago is closely looked at as a possible uh, new uh, hot uh, spot. Uh, same thing uh, for uh, Louisiana, and that's really uh, the issue with the United States, is that unlike Italy, which basically locked down pretty much at the same time and very strictly. In the United States, it was really a hodgepodge of uh, lockdowns from uh, the uh, West Coast to the East Coast. Still, some states to this day don't have a lockdown. That's why you're seeing different waves coming up at different times in the United States. And that's why these numbers keep uh, going up and creeping up for uh, the United States.